Hello, I'm Alan, VP of Product here at Quadratech, and I'm sitting here today with Greg Jones, the product owner for our new Autopilot product. So Greg, what do you think is the biggest challenge that a large enterprise customer will face when they first move to Office 365? So a lot of these large companies have had Active Directory around for a number of years, 15 plus years. And the way they manage users and the way they manage groups um, is different uh, after you've moved to Office 365. Uh, there's a lot of challenges with role-based access control and delegation and those type of things. So are the sort of tools available in Office 365 very different from the on-premises tools? They are, uh, and they're definitely not as um, mature as they are in Active Directory. So that's why we've created Autopilot. So what is Autopilot exactly? How does it help these organizations with the challenges that you mentioned? So what we do is we provide a, a virtualized layer in front of Office 365 uh, that allows a customer to set up an organizational unit structure like they would in on-premises Active Directory. Uh, that allows us to um, apply policies, uh, allow end users to have uh, access to change attributes on their, their user objects, or to have uh, the ability to change attributes on others' user objects if delegated correctly. So how do we create these organizational units? Can we read them from their on-premises Active Directory? Yeah, or are there if, other methods as well? If the customer has uh, an on-premise Active Directory, then absolutely we can bring in that, uh, the, that organization unit structure that they've maybe had for many years that works well for them. Or if they don't like their structure now and they want to go ahead and, and change that, they can do that as well. So you put users inside these OUs. Um, what can you then do with those OUs? What, what's the value of that? We provide uh, what are called job templates, which are uh, the ability to basically do um, any sort of administration that, that you might want. So it, if uh, you can do it via Graph API or PowerShell, you can do that with an autopilot. So what about automation? One of the things we do with an autopilot uh, is uh, we have configuration policies. Mm -hmm. And these policies allow us to standardize um, attributes on users or groups within an OU um, or um, have uh, commands run against those type of objects. For instance, if uh, I want to have uh, everyone in my Germany office have a country code of uh, DE, I can create a policy to do that. I could also, uh, also have those same users have access to a SharePoint site or shared mailbox automatically by being put into that OU. And so it sounds like that would help a lot with security and compliance, making sure things uh, stay to a baseline. Is that right? Absolutely. So we can take all that together, um, the automation piece, make things automatically happen from security and compliance. view. But what about people manually making changes, such as help desk? How does it help someone like that? We offer self-service as well. So mm -hmm. things that you might normally have to create a help desk ticket for, uh, an individual might be able to do themselves if given the uh, appropriate access. Right, so they can essentially fix their own problem without help wasting a help desk time. That's correct. Okay, so that sounds like a really great product. Um, is it available now? Uh, it will be available at the beginning of the second quarter of 2018. Hmm. To find out more about Autopilot or any of our other products, visit our website at www.quadratech-it.com or click the subscribe link below to join our YouTube channel.